fucking great for your age. Okay? Yeah. Mixed Mars my age. That guy. And that guy is fucking kicking ass for a fan of this, but a great Thank job. You. Great job on the drums. I was fucking incredible as usual. This, let me say, this is the first time we've ever played Lexington. This is good as you know, guys are witnessing a historical event that you will live with forever, even if one of us kicks the butt fucking in the next couple months, dude. You're never going to fucking forget. I gotta tell you, Satchel, this Lexington, you're better than I even imagined it could be. Make some noise. That's great. That's great, Mike. I'm glad you found that lady, because honestly, I'm not here to fucking blow fucking smoke up Lexington's ass, okay? And I'm gonna be totally fucking honest with you. Uh, I thought you guys were gonna be a little bit crazier, a little bit fucking rowdier. Because, hold on, dude. Hold the fuck on. Everybody just hold the fuck on. You guys know as well as I do that Lexington is one of the top 17 heavy metal communities in this part of Kentucky, okay? And the way you guys react to this fucking heavy metal band is going to have a profound effect on other heavy metal crowds as far away as fucking... Blueville and all those places. Yeah. You guys, that was way fucking better. Great fucking job screaming. Great job with your fucking sister. I hope your wife knows you with your fucking sister. Uh, this is weird, but let me tell you, I want to introduce you guys to one of the fucking greatest heavy metal lead singers in the world. I want to introduce you guys to a heavy fucking metal legend. to an icon of the genre, a guy who has inspired an entire generation of little heavy metal kids to drop out of school in the first fucking grade so they can play guitar and fuck strippers every day of their lives. Thank you, Lexington. I love you. I'm glad to be here tonight. Unfortunately, Brent Michaels is in Los Angeles right now, so... So I'm gonna introduce you to the fucking man that I hired to be one of my top three employees in this band. Back in 1981, when he was only 54 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, on the fucking lead vocals tonight, the guy who was infatuated. 
celebrating it with balls, clearly. Make some noise for Michael Scott! Manchester, London, UK, dude. Let's stay focused, dude. Let's stop talking about the this UK. Is, this is the UK. University of Kentucky, yeah! yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. You guys have more teeth than the girls in Manchester, UK, all right? Yeah. But I'll tell you, the but girls they get, there, they give really good head. It's yeah. almost yeah. like a, oh no, it's a gummer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, Michael. Satchel. Yeah. Make some noise for Mike! <laughs> I was trying to clap for you. I'm never gonna clap for you again. Huh? You don't need to clap for me. I know what I'm all about. I'm lead guitar. Make some noise for guy who needs no introduction. I've been here many times. This is like a second home to me. My uncle has a, a towing company here in town. It's called Camel Towing. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a great tow truck company. Uh, I do like to work out. Probably gonna be doing some push-ups on your friend right there after the show. At least four. I might not make it past four, but right now, let me tell you something. For the last three fucking years, if you've been a Steel Panther fan, a lot of people have been asking me the same question. And it's saying, Satch, where's the gay guy? Where did the gay guy go? Why did the gay guy leave the band? And I tell him the same time, every, same fucking answer, every time I get this question, we've got the same fucking drummer we've had the entire time. 